Hi, this is Mark with QuicksVenture.com. In this video, we're going to take apart a first-generation Apple TV, and we're going to replace the Wi-Fi adapter with a Crystal HD MPEG decoder board so that we can use Crystal Ubuntu. First thing you'll notice about this Apple TV is that I've actually already taken it apart and done the modification and put it back together again, and you can see that there's no rubber footing on the bottom. Your Apple TV probably has a really nice rubber foot covering the entire bottom, and the real problem with that is that Apple stuck it on there with a piece of double-sided tape that covers the entire bottom section of the case. So you're going to have to tear that rubber thing off, and there's no way you're going to get it off in one piece. So you're pretty well going to destroy that rubber footing, and when you get that off, you're going to be faced with a whole bunch of double-sided sticky tape on the bottom of your Apple TV. I spent about an hour with a credit card, uh, just uh, slowly peeling away the uh, double-sided tape. It took a very long time, but when you're done, just clean it up with some glass cleaner or surface cleaner, and you'll have a nice shiny metal case on the bottom. Once you've got that rubber footing off, you're going to see that there are four screws on the corners and four screws in a rectangle. You need to remove the four screws on the outside, and they're all going to use a Torx. That's the uh, star bit in your screwdriver, and it's a very small, I think it's a Torx 10. So get in there and just remove the four corners. Make sure you hold on to the screws. The two in the back are shorter and the two in the front are a little bit longer. So you're going to remember where you put them. And when you get those four screws off, set them aside, and you're going to have to rock the chassis so that it comes out. And you'll see that inside there's a hard drive attached to the bottom of the chassis and then attached inside the case. Just go ahead and pull the IDE cable off of the board and then the hard drive in the bottom of the case will just be free. I'm going to go ahead and remove the hard drive as well. If you want to leave the hard drive in, you can. Uh, in this tutorial though, I'm going to remove both the hard drive and the fan and get rid of all the moving parts. The hard drive comes out with just four screws, again the same Torx bit. Now if you do remove the hard drive and you want to install Crystal Ubuntu, which is the Ubuntu Linux image by Sam at stmlabs.com, you're going to have to modify the image slightly. And if you go to quicksventure.com, we have a comprehensive guide that shows you everything you need to do. The benefit is that if you do remove the hard drive and the fan, there are no moving parts left in your Apple TV. It runs pretty quiet and perfectly silent. So when you're done pulling the hard drive out, it'll look like this and just set it aside. You can always put the hard drive back in and have a stock Apple TV in a few minutes by running another piece of software at STM Labs. So once you've got the case open, you're going to see that inside there is a Wi-Fi adapter and a fan. In order to install a Crystal HD card, we're going to replace the Wi-Fi adapter and reuse the mini PCI slot. There are two kinds of Broadcom Crystal HD decoder boards. There is the larger one, which is the uh, 70012 model, and the smaller model that has an extension on it, and this is the 70015. You want the 70015 board. The 1-2 is a slower, older board that doesn't uh, accelerate XVID and it doesn't accelerate flash. Now that's usually not a problem because the Apple TV can accelerate that just fine with the CPU, but uh, the fact is that the 70015 is much better at handling things like fast forward and skipping ahead 30 seconds. So get do yourself a favor and get the 70015. To remove the Wi-Fi adapter, you're going to see that there are two antenna leads attached, a black and a blue cable. Just lift them straight up and they'll pop off. They're held on by friction. Set those aside and then there's going to be another Torx screw in the corner holding the card in place. Just go ahead and unscrew the card, remove the screw, set it aside, and then to remove the card, lift it forward and pull it out. It's that easy, just a simple mini PCI. Then take your Broadcom BCM70015 and rock it exactly the same way. Hold it at an angle, 
push it in and push it down. Hold it down and use the same screw in the same corner. And make sure those antenna leads aren't touching anything. They can rest on top of the car just fine. It's got a sticker so they're not going to conduct anything. And then screw in the MPEG decoder board. Now, if you want to leave the hard drive and the fan in, just reattach the hard drive IDE cable, and I assume it would still be attached to the top of the uh, case, and put everything back together. If you want to remove the hard drive and the fan, all you have to do to remove the fan now is to pull the power lead out of the motherboard, it just pops right out, and that's held in with tape, and there are four rubber stands that uh, you're probably going to break when you pull it out. But all you have to do is cut the tape and pull the fan off and you're going to rip the tops off of those little rubber stands. No problem. Uh, you can always just uh, glue it back in or something if you really, really wanted the fan. It doesn't really do anything. Uh, with the hard drive gone, the hard drive generates a lot of heat and the CPU is actually on the other side of the motherboard. So the fan isn't even directly blowing air onto the CPU. It's just moving a little bit of air around, and uh, you just don't need it. So now we have an Apple TV with no moving parts and a Crystal HD decoder board. So let's put it back together again. You just take your the bottom of the case and rock it in in very much the same way that we pulled it out. The only really difficult thing here is that where the power adapter is, there's a key. Uh, notched into the uh, case. So sometimes it won't line up perfectly and if it doesn't just keep trying until it has a nice solid seat. Take the two longer screws and put them back in the front and the short screws go in the back. So as you can see, this whole process only takes a couple of minutes. It's totally reversible. The only, uh, the only thing that you might run into trouble with is that when you pull that fan out, you do break the stands. But you can very easily put the Wi-Fi adapter back in and you can reattach the hard drive. And the nice thing about this modification is that we haven't even touched any of the software on the hard drive. If we put it back together, this Apple TV will boot right back into the Apple operating system. And now you can see we've put it all back together and there's nothing really left to do. One thing that I do uh, suggest though is you want to put some kind of foot or uh, something to raise the bottom of the case off of the floor. What I've done is uh, taken a couple of small wooden pieces that I had lying around and just use some glue or a hot glue gun and attach them to the bottom and then it raises it up about a quarter maybe a half of an inch off of the table where it sits. And That just helps to get some airflow up into the bottom of the unit itself. So that's all there is to the hardware modification. Go back to quicksventure.com and read the Crystal Ubuntu how-to guide and we'll walk through the process to modify the software and install the software to run Crystal Ubuntu on your first generation Apple TV. At this point, if you've already done that, all you need to do is plug in the USB key, plug in the power, and you're ready to go. Thanks for watching. This is Mark with quicksventure.com.